Alrighty, so in my hands I have a 1650 Tough Gaming Overclock Edition. There was only one left at my micro center. So yeah, and then there was a total of three of uh, 1650s. And when I go home, um, they're all gone. So yeah, um, probably next week I'll both pick one up. But uh, yeah, this is the one I wanted for my wife because uh, I handed her down a 970 for the win edition and it caught on fire a week, a week ago. Ooh. And uh, yeah, so this is a good replacement. Um, originally I bought, since there were no 1650s, I bought her a 1050 Ti, Ooh. which was 300 and above $300. And uh, yeah, so I had to bite the bullet. So I exchanged it and I got this one which was only $220. That's the front. Here's the back. Powered by the 1650. The really like, I really liked about this one is that it has a GDR6 and it really didn't break the bank. Unlike my 970 for the win edition, which was like when I bought it back uh, seven, seven years ago, it was like $450, $500. So yeah, this definitely is worth it. Especially since uh, it caught on fire with the seal. Make it easier with one hand. And yeah, I would suggest if you find some, the 1650s, um, it's worth it if you're still in the 970s. But uh, paying more than $300, I would I'd highly go against that. Here it is. nice and beefy so this is a nice upgrade i really like it compared to the 1050 ti because uh, it has actually has it's nice and beefy it's beautiful. so yeah she's gonna be sticking with this for a little bit until the gpu shortage wears down and uh yeah this thing's beautiful And uh, for the 1050 Ti compared to this one that I originally had for, um, it didn't have a power, any external power connectors. So this one just has a six pin. That's what I plan to do. I might keep this, but it's really cheap. As you can see, 1650, six gigabytes, made in Vietnam. But anyways, that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and install it for her, so yeah.